Okay, let's talk about the prop. So we're figuring 120 RPMs at about 12 to 14 volts, and that's uh, at a, with a nine-foot prop and a tip speed ratio, 4.5 tip speed ratio. I'm hoping we're going to get to a decent uh, battery voltage as soon as the wind gets up around five to seven miles per hour. Okay, so we know that by turning this, any extra pressure I put on it turns into amps. Uh, the thing we need to figure out, uh, which is basically in the design, is getting your prop set to your alternator. If I use this as a 12 volt system, 120 RPM is cut in speed. But if I reach my battery voltage early with the RPMs, that blade's not going to turn fast enough to cut the wind to get the right angle of attack on the blades to keep the lift. And that's what we call stall out. And it doesn't have near the power. If that happens, you either go to a bigger prop, which turns slower, or you can do two things. One, you can loosen these up and bring the, jack this magnet rotor out a little bit more, put a little bit more gap in there. That'll lower the voltage it puts out at that RPM. Therefore, it'll spin up to speed to where it's not going to cut out or stall out. Therefore, when the wind starts to pick up, then you're really generating some good power. So, uh, if, uh, if it stalls out before then, when the wind picks up, you're not going to receive any of it. So too small of a prop is a bad thing. But too big of a prop overpowers the unit. And if I short it out to uh, slow it down to keep it from overspeed protection or, uh, or it furls out and the wind is still pressing on it, some of that blade is going to be like this. And that's enough force to keep this thing kicking and kicking fast even when it's sideways in the higher winds. The higher winds are very powerful. When the wind uh, picks up or doubles, there's eight times the power in it. So you've really got to be leery. Too big of a prop? will overpower the alternator. Too small of a prop won't deliver it because it's going to stall out early. So there's a nice uh, small window in there. Uh, but you could either jack this up, you can jack this rotor out. The second thing that you can do, you can keep this in AC and you can run three wires out there so you can use a three-pronged extension cord or whatever you got, but you need some heavy wire for this. You're going to be running some amps. But anyway, you can lengthen your lead wire by 50 feet, that's going to drop your voltage too, which kind of acts as a buffer and allow the blades to speed up a little bit more and actually get the right angle of attack to catch lift. And all of a sudden, when the wind picks up, you're going to be generating power instead of watching it stall out. So that's two ways to adjust it, lengthening your wire or jacking your rotor out. So we got a little bit to play with. I'm going to play with the uh, nine foot prop. If it seems uh I believe it's going to pick up speed and be able to get me some power into lower winds. I was thinking about the 10 foot prop, but I'm going to play with the 9 foot prop first. Uh, it doesn't matter. When I take it off, I can sell it. So, carving another prop for me, it's just more fun. So I'm going to play with the 9 foot prop first, so 4.5 foot blades. I might do three, or I might just do, uh, go ahead and do a four bladed. Uh, the less uh, the less blades you have, the faster it's going to turn because it has less drag. But believe me, it's still going to chop the wind enough. The wind is not as soft as you think. You hold a piece of plywood up to the wind when the wind picks up. See if it doesn't blow you over. That's why people don't roof in the wind. Uh, <laughs> you know, the blades will cut the air so many times. If the wind goes through and you see a blade come by, then the next blade comes by and it, it's passing. While the wind is going past this many times, it's, it's cut this time, this time, this time. It's uh, cutting the wind so many times. The uh, pressure in the wind is going to be pretty solid. It's almost as good as holding a piece of plywood up to the wind. So you're going to absorb all of it. And it's all going to turn into mechanical rotation. So a 9-foot prop, I think, is what I'm going to play with at first. If it seems to uh, not be enough, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the 10-foot prop on there anyway. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Many good things to you and yours. Okay, well, I went ahead and took a piece of extension cord and I took those little jumpers. Now I put them suckers on here real good. Uh, they're crimped nice and tight and full. I doubled the wire over and we also went through the hole. So these things are stout. It's hard to even get the rubbers to slide on it because the insulation is so thick. And I got that coming over to a three phase bridge rectifier. And of course, the positive, two humps, and negative with one hump. Set that down there. Just for a little quick demonstration, it really doesn't take much. 
one. That's less than 60 RPM. <laughs> but anyway, get this thing to settle out a little bit. There we go. Let's go 120 RPM. That's 12 volts. That's what this is supposed to be. It doesn't even strain to do it. That's about 120 RPM. One, two, three. I really want to. <laughs> Got to get out of the way so it don't hit you in the face. I do one finger though. I mean, there's nothing hard on it. You short it out, it's going to be real hard. But anyway. Just thought you'd enjoy that. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I worked on this quite a while last night, but uh, had another thing on my mind. Uh, I'm thinking about making a prop carving machine. Show you the beginnings of it. Okay, right here you see a garage door hinge. And you notice the way that it's built. This comes up a little higher than I've actually got it set up on here. And I know that the pivot is right dead center, right there. Well, okay. When this is butted up where it's supposed to be, and you look at this prop, you can see that's basically out this way, about a six, out, out front about a sixteenth of an inch, and also back up about a sixteenth of an inch. So, that's exactly what I want. I can't have two things exist in the same space at the same time. But... I can do this on this end of the bench, and way down here on this end of the bench, and everything I have, the pivot and hinge, is going to have that same axis right here. When I put the other boards over here, this is out just a little bit, about that far, and also up about that far. It's going to give me my 8 inch lip. Everything that cuts is going to ride along a plane and have another jig. I'll show you more on it as it, uh, as it gets built there. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. <laughs>